Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I haven't done one in a while. It is January. It's the, the end of the first week of January 2025. So first off, Happy New Year's to everybody. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, so in this video, to kick things off, I thought I would walk you guys through Steamworks. So if you're a game developer developing a game in Unity or Unreal Engine or Godot, um, and you're looking to uh, distribute your game on Steamworks, it's uh, something that you can actually do yourself. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, so basically what's involved is you're going to have to register a Steamworks account. Uh, there is a fee associated with that. I think it's about $120, at least uh, that's how much I paid for, for my license or for my Steamworks account. Um, and I think, yeah, that was in US dollars, right? I'm in Canada, so I think I had to pay it in US dollars, but um, yeah. So uh, if you guys are looking to set up your game on Steamworks and you're not familiar with Steamworks, then I'm going to show you guys how to use Steamworks. So let's uh, jump into it. All right, guys, so here we are. I'm currently logged into my Steamworks uh, account. Um, so upon logging in, you're first going to be greeted with a dashboard. Um, so here we have like some dates and some information or some news that's being presented to us by Steam. And then in the sidebar here, we have some announcements. Um, if you want to create new applications, we can do that here. And they also have an SDK that you can download and use. Um, personally, I don't really use that, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to cover that. Um, and then up here in the main navigation, we have some links available, apps and packages, tools, users and permissions, and financial info. Um, so I'm just going to cover some of these areas here for this video. Um, so the first thing we'll look at here is under apps and packages. We'll go to all applications. And then here I can access my application. I have a game branch and I have like a beta branch. The beta branch is where I do all my playtesting. Um, so I'll give you guys an overview of the Steamworks admin for my live game. So Steamworks admin. Okay, so here we are. We're currently on the uh, in the administration area for my game, which is called Shadow of the Orient. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's a 2D platformer. Um, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the down below. Uh, sorry, in the description down below. Um, okay, so here under application, uh, we can set up some uh, initial data. So we can set up our game name or we can change the game name here if we wanted to. Um, can I change my name here? Actually, no. So this is already, since your game has already been reviewed, you'll need to contact devel developer support to make any name changes or add localized names. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, so this is where you can manage your name. So after you do your initial configuration, you're not going to be able to change the name of your application or your game. Uh, it turns out you're going to have to contact developer support to do that. Um, but you can update the supported operating systems. So currently my game is only supported for Windows 64-bit. Okay, and then under here, there, we also have some additional links that we can access, but I'm not really familiar with any of this stuff here. I haven't used any of uh, any of these options, so I'm not going to cover any of those pages. Um, under Steam Pipe, this is where we can uh, manage um, each version of our game. So this is where you would um, do your initial upload. And then from here, you can uh, upload additional versions or additional releases of your game. So you'll see here that I'm currently at version 1.20. Um, so in order to actually upload like a, like a depot, they call them depots, um, you would actually uh, do it under this page here. So it says here, upload depots as zip directly without using Steam CMD. So you can upload depots or new application builds through, uh, I think it's through an application called Steam CMD. Um, personally, I don't use that, so I'm not going to cover that. I just do everything through, through, like just straight through the web browser. Um, so if we click here, this will take us to our upload page. So this is where I can select a uh, new version of my game. Um, and then I can just set this to standard and hit upload. Um, and then usually after you do the initial upload, you're going to get prompted with an additional field. It's going to ask you which um, branch you want to assign it to. So after you do that, after you finish the upload process here, if you go back to builds, you'll see your newest build on the list here. And in order to actually make it live, you're going to have to set it to the default branch. It won't actually allow you to select the default branch under the build, sorry, under the uh, uploads page for some reason. It won't let you select it. Um, so you're going to have to come back to this page and make sure that the default branch is assigned to your game. So that's the actual live branch. 
um, if your game isn't assigned to the default branch, it's not going to be live. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. Okay, so this is where you would upload, again, this is where you would upload and manage each version of your game. Um, the depots, there isn't really much to do here. So when you first set up your Steamworks account, you're going to have to set up, I think, an initial depot. Uh, so the depot is where all your builds get uploaded to, right? Um, so when you set up your first depot, that's just that's pretty much all you have to do here. You don't really need to add new depots, at least not for me anyways. I, I think maybe if you have DLC content, you might need to create a new depot for DLC content. But other than that, you only need to create one depot and that's it. Um, okay, what else do we have here? We have installation. Um, I don't think there's much I need to do here. Uh, so under general installation, this is where you would define the uh, installation folder and then also the name of the executable file. Um, so in my instance, when I um, when I publish my game through Unity, it creates a uh, executable file and the name of that file is shadowoftheorient.exe. Um, so you have to um, you have to define the name of the executable file here. So it has to match up exactly the same, otherwise your game's not going to launch. Um, it just simply won't load. Um, so that has to match up with the uh, executable of your Unity file, right? Or of your Unreal Engine file or Godot executable file, whatever it is, whatever engine you're using, um, when you package your game and, and publish it, it's going to create an executable and you have to make sure that the uh, value in here matches up with the uh, name of your executable file. So that's very important. Um, then we have a bunch of other options here. I'm not really familiar with any of these pages. I haven't really used any of these ones. Well, except maybe for client images. So the client image is the actual icon image. So when somebody down, when someone purchases and download your game from Steam and they install it and they create a desktop uh, shortcut, this is the icon that's going to that that will appear on that desktop shortcut. Okay, so you can do that under installation, client images. Um, security, I'm not familiar with any of these features, but I believe this all has to do with um, digital rights management and anti-cheat and things like that. Um, I haven't configured any of these, so I'm not going to cover that. Um, under stats and achievements, this is where you can set up your achievements for your game if you need achievements, and you can also set up leaderboards. So in my case here, I have my achievements already set up and configured. Um, I don't have any leaderboards for my game, but you can add leaderboards. You can add one or more leaderboards if you wanted to. You can do that under here. Um, community, I haven't done anything under community, at least not much. That's under general community. Yeah, I haven't done anything there. Go to assets. Okay, so under community and assets, this is where you can upload, I guess, some icons for your, for your game and some avatars. So that's done under here. Um, economy, what's under economy? I don't think I've done much under economy. Um, and then there's also screenshots. Where would screenshots go? Steam input, Steam cloud. Might be, is this Steam cloud? No. Tools might be on the store. So let's take a look at that in a minute. Um, so going back here to our Steam Steamworks navigation. Uh, yeah, so there isn't really much that I've done under general or under community. What's under user content? Did I go here? No. Okay, so yeah, so I haven't really done much under community, so I'm not going to cover any of these pages. Workshop, what's under workshop? Um, yeah, so I haven't done anything under workshop either, so I'm not familiar with these pages, so I'm going to ignore those. And then keys, I think this is for Steam keys, so I think you can um, you can create new Steam keys here if you want to. Um, so you can create like a release key. Uh, you can also create like a developer key. So if you're not familiar with Steam keys, you can use those to um, give access to testers or reviewers. Um, you can send them a Steam key and then they can come to Steam. They can use that Steam key to redeem your game free of charge. Uh, and then they can download it and play test it. Um, so that's pretty much what Steam keys are for. Um, and then there are miscellaneous. I don't think I've done anything there. And then there's the publish tab. So this is where you would actually publish any changes that you make to your game. You can do that under here. Um, so if you update like the title of your game or the description or some, some screenshots or some icons, 
Um, after you're done that, you would have to come under the Publish tab and then hit Prepare for Publishing. Um, that's where you would do that. And then I don't remember where you actually upload screenshots. Um, where is that? All applications, pricing, discount management. Huh. Yeah, so where did I do the video? Homepage. No, not here. View workshop. Okay, so that's for workshop. That doesn't go there. Migrate metadata. No. Uh, All right, guys. Well, there is an area where you can set the... Uh, oh, I think I know where it is. Hold on a sec. So under apps and packages, let's go to all applications. Uh, store admin. So it should be under here. So if you go back under apps and packages, under all applications, then you'll see if we click on the other link, store admin, then I believe this is where we can upload our screenshots and our video, our gameplay videos. So that can all be done under here. So we have our basic info. Um, we have our game description. There it is. Good. Uh, we have our ratings. I'm not sure what the ratings is. I haven't really used that. Oh, I guess it's game ratings. So if you want to set your game to ESRB, or Peggy. We have a whole bunch of different game ratings here that we can uh, turn on. Um, if you want to do early access for your game, you can do that here. Uh, graphical assets, this is where you can do screenshot assets. Here's all my game screenshots. You can also do a gameplay video. I believe that is, is that our library assets? Mm, no, so don't remember where, oh, broadcast assets. No, this is my broadcast. Okay, so this is where you would do like your live broadcast. You can upload your assets here for live broadcast. Store assets, is this where we do the video? Uh, page backgrounds, no. Okay, so there is somewhere where you can upload the video. I'm not exact, I don't remember exactly at the moment where you do that, but, oh, trailers, there it is. Cool, so this is where we can upload our game trailers. And I believe we can create more than one. Um, so we have that trailer and then special settings. I don't have anything configured under special settings. Oh, actually I do. Uh, this is actually very important. So if you want to, if you want to stream your game live to your store page, you actually have to do that under here under steam broadcast. Um, so you'll, you'll notice here that I actually created a broadcaster persona and this is actually linked to my account, to my steam account. Um, so if I, if I load up my game through steam and I hit shift tab, it'll bring up the steam overlay. And then if I click on manage broadcast, I can actually do a live broadcast of my gameplay directly to my store page. So if customers come to my store page, they'll see me playing live in a, like in a, in a, in a dedicated window, right? So that's really cool. So that's, that's definitely important. You're definitely going to want to set that up and maybe do some live broadcast to your game page. Um, cause that could probably help boost up your sales. Um, so again, that's very important. Um, so that's under special settings and then you scroll down and you go to steam broadcast. Um, and then localization, if you want to localize your game, I guess you would do that here. If you want to, I guess, localize the description or other parts of your, uh, steam store page, you would do that here. And then there's the publish button again. So any changes you make to your store page. Um, you would have to hit publish to public, to the public, publish to, yeah, publish to public. What the hell did I say? Public? Anyways, publish to public. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Publish to public, publish to public, publish to public. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, so you're going to have to press publish to public in order to get your changes live. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, tools. So under tools, you can actually see how much traffic is coming to your page, how many impressions you've gotten, how many visits you've gotten. Um, you can break down the traffic. And uh, I think that also shows like the number of um, wish lists that um, people have added your game to. I don't remember exactly where that is. Let's go under overview. It might be somewhere here. I don't know. It's somewhere under this, under this area here. I can't remember exactly. Um, so yeah, so there's that, uh, manage economy. You can manage your steam keys here and, uh, under users and permissions, you can manage users. So if you want to invite, um, users to ma manage certain aspects of your account, you can do that under here. 
So let's just say you're hiring like a marketing company and they're gonna be running ads for you, say on YouTube or social media. You can actually give them access um, to your account and they can actually come in and they can actually manage the, um, like the Steam traffic to see how much traffic is coming in through their ads. Um, so you can do that under users and permissions. Um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much all I'm gonna cover for this video here. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as, as, quickly as I can. Um, yeah, and that's it. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it useful. And uh, I'll try to have a video out next week as well, maybe covering something else on Unity. I don't know. I'll have something out, out soon. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.